A new study published in the American Journal of Public Health suggests that uh, that most obese Americans who do not get some kind of surgery will never achieve normal weight. Dagan McDowell is on this one for us this morning. Dagan. And this is a national health crisis, and it's also a financial crisis, yeah. we should point out. This is a study, again, in um, published according to, um, we're talking about the uh, body mass index in, in the American Journal of Public Health, that the probability of obese people reaching normal weight is less than 1%. And here are the numbers. One in 210 obese men have a probability of reaching a normal weight. This is without any kind of surgery. One in 124 obese women. If you get to morbid obesity, which is an even larger body mass index, those odds go down to one in 1,290 men and one in uh, 677 women. So it becomes nearly impossible to get down to a normal weight once you become obese or morbidly obese. And you want to talk about the cost? More than $305 billion in direct and indirect costs of obesity annually in terms of lost productivity, the increased health care costs. And people complain about the government cracking down, trying to change what we eat and how we eat calorie contents on menus you, uh, and the like, but there's going to be a whole lot more of that. You have more government in your health care, and then you have a population that is increasingly overweight and will probably stay that way. You will have a government that essentially tells you what to eat. I mean, it's crazy. Because if the so government's funding your health care right. and your health care costs are related to obesity, it becomes the government's problem. We're asking for it as a country unless we get the way down. And there's a bigger issue, too, because all, all these individuals that are morbidly obese actually have protections under discrimination law. So you, you're binding the employers even greater. You're saying, oh, no, you can't fire that individual point. that's been out an extended period of time. And you, you can't accommodate that individual. On disability, too, exactly who are right. um, excessively Digging, overweight. Do you think that, uh, speaking of government intervention, that we're going to see sin taxes, the kinds of things we now see on alcohol and tobacco, is that coming to, mm. to butter and sugar? Or are we going to see that in the future? Uh, well, certainly the cr some types of crackdowns. It's hard to do that, though. Right. But I think that with uh, Mayor Bloomberg here trying to limit the, so the size of soda you could buy, that was shot down. That didn't happen. But as the government funds more of your health care, and I'm talking sure. specifically about Medicare, but come on, you do you think syntax would really change behavior? It does. Exactly. Oh, of course I don't. Don't. That doesn't mean around. government won't do it. That doesn't so mean it did work on try. cigarettes, though. Cigarettes have become are so expensive in so many areas right. that it reduces the amount that people do smoke, if right. not the number of smokers. Sure. Well, that has gotten nuts, though. I mean, I, I haven't looked in the lately, but a, a pack of cigarettes in it's Manhattan. About ten bucks. Ten dollars. Oh, I think it's probably even more than that. Yeah. So it's about ten. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you, Dagan, for bringing thank us the latest on that study.